going to discover Scooper. So more precisely, we're going to go into our online plans. Here you can see them as our green plans. So the free, the pro and the plus plan. We also have an enterprise plan, but I'm not going to get into that today. So on your homepage, which you can access via the read button, you're going to see a large amount of content that has been selected just for you based on your interests and on the topics that you follow. This content has been curated by our community of over 4 million users. So then you're going to have access to all of the features that you need in this drop down menu. In the My Created Topics section, you can see all of the topics that you've created, but you can also create a new one by clicking on Create a Topic. Once you've created your topic and you're on your topics page, in the top right corner, you're going to see a suggestion icon. By clicking here, you're going to have access to a large amount of content which is selected by our algorithm based on the keywords that you've entered. So I've entered personal branding. Then you can also choose the time frame within which you want to research content. Once you're happy with that, you can just click on apply and it's going to refresh with new content for you. Then you can read through them, choose something that you like, that you think would be interesting to share. Click on publish. From here, you're going to be able to edit the image to change to something that fits your topic better. You can also edit the quotes to make it shorter or longer. Then you can also add tags to help people find it or even yourself work through your topic. Here you're going to be able to add your insight. So this is the most important part. This is what's going to be able to differentiate you from other curators and really add value to what you're sharing. You can also select your social channels that you want to share to and schedule your post. Once everything's how you want it to be, you can just click on publish. If you want to find content in a different way and maybe from a more specialized source, you have the option to use our bookmarklet. So this is a great option. You simply need to drag and drop the little icon into your toolbar. Just make sure that it's visible first. Then if you're working on Chrome, this is the setup that you're going to have. You need to click on copy to clipboard. Once that's copied, you just go into modify in the URL, just replace it with what you just copied, save, and you're good to go. So then you can go and browse on your favorite website, find articles that you're interested in. Once you found something that you like, here I'm on a Forbes website, and you just click on the bookmarklet. It's then going to load the same editing window that we previously had on Scooper. Same editing process, you can edit the image, the quote, the insight, and schedule it, add tags. Everything is identical to Scooper. The advantage is you stay on your favorite website and you don't have to change page to share. So this is quite practical and it's gonna save you a lot of time. You're then going to be able to add social media. So to add social media, you just go into your settings, into your sharing options. From here, you're going to be able to add either your social media channels to a specific topic or to your profile. If it's added to your profile, you're going to be able to access it regardless of which topic you're in. So if you're on a pro plan, you're going to have access to up to five social channels. And if you're on a plus plan, you're going to have access to up to 10. But regardless of which plan you're on, you can have access to all of the different types of social media that you can see here. From this page, you can also choose whether you want the system to remember your sharing options. So that way, if you decide to share to Twitter and Facebook, it will suggest these options to you each time. Then if you have any questions, you can use this question mark here. Through here, you're going to be able to have access to our customer support team who can answer general questions for you. 
on the use of scoop it but also more specific and personal questions regarding for instance your invoices or a specific issue that you're having then finally I'm just going to present to you the calendar option which is useful if you use the scheduling option at the bottom of your editing page from this page you're going to be able to see all of the posts that you have either posted or scheduled for each day so you can schedule things for the next couple of days or next couple of weeks but the idea is to have fresh content so the best is to only schedule for a couple of days but it is going to save you time because you can schedule for a couple of days in just one or two hours of work so these are the main features on Scoop It uh, if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible uh, have a great day, bye